I want to talk about Homestead. Okay. Because I think we've had we've had a number of people asking us about Homestead. What is it? How do I do it? What happens? You know, is it automatic? Do I have to do something? So when somebody buys a house, yep. what is Homestead? Okay. So this is also a, a really good year-end conversation because up until this year in Texas, if you own a home, um, obviously property taxes are a big deal here. It's a large portion of your annual expense, especially debt, your, your home ownership expense. <clears throat> so up until this year, if you bought a home, you had to wait until the following January. So let's say you bought a home in January, you'd have to wait until the next January to now apply for the new year when they were gonna value your home for the following calendar year. You could say, this is my homestead. So to answer the question, what that means is, this is the property that I own that I live in. This is my primary home. If I own a second home, only one of them can be my homestead. Only one of them can be where I live, I reside, my primary residence. And if I dedicate it as that with the taxing authority, there are now some tax savings benefits. There's an incentive to own your own home. By the way, we're not gonna get into politics, we never do that. But people fight all the time about massive misunderstandings when it comes to finances and taxes and when it comes to politics. So here's the deal. Whether you like it or not, this is just a fact. The tax code, the rules around taxes in our country are designed to incentivize certain behavior, right? So for example, um, the, in our country, if you, if you borrow money, if you get a mortgage to buy a home, most, if not all, of the interest you pay on your mortgage is deductible on your taxes. Now, there are some limits and things. We're not going to get into all that. But why would that be? Well, because our government has decided, our taxing authority has decided, we want people to do that. We don't, we don't want you to only be able to buy a home if you have cash, Home ownership drives our economy. When people buy homes, they buy furniture, they pay for electricity and air conditioning, you know, all this stuff. And it ripples out into the economy and it creates jobs and it creates an economy, it creates a culture that is good for our country. So we want people to do that. And so what we'll do is we'll give them a little tax advantage. So if you go borrow money to buy a house, you don't have to pay taxes on as much income because we'll let you reduce that amount by how much you're paying in interest. That's an incentive. Well, the homestead exemption is another one of those. Hey, we want you to own your home and own a little piece of the country, you know, and, and take control of your life and invest in our economy. So if you do that, we will reduce the amount you have to pay on those taxes because this is your home. Now, if you buy a second home to invest in it, you cannot call it your homestead, but there are some other tax advantages. So the short answer to the question is, what is a homestead? That's the house that you own, that you live in. Now, why do we care? Because there are some tax savings and some other opportunities out there on homes that we deem as our primary residence. It's a ballpark figure. There's a couple little overlapping calculations, but in most areas in North Texas, if it's your homestead, you'll probably save about 15% off. You'll pay about 85% of what you would normally pay if that was not your homestead. And what's changed this year is you can apply for that homestead exemption whenever you buy the house. You no longer have to wait until the following January.